In this video, we will learn about vectors in C++. A vector is essentially a resizable array. The array data structure that we learned about is great if you know the exact amount of elements that you need to store. However, once you create an array, you cannot change its size later on in the program. With vectors, you can dynamically add and remove elements as needed. The first step to working with vectors in our C++ program is to include the vector header file at the top of the code. We will also include the string header file. Then, inside of the main function we will create a vector which stores elements that are strings, which we name v1. To add elements to a vector we can use the pushback function. Let's add the string abc to v1 using the pushback function. Then we will add the string def to our vector. After that, we will add the string ghi to our vector. Let's check the contents of our vector. We will use a for loop that starts at int i equals 0, runs while i is less than v1.size, and increments i by 1 each time. Inside of the for loop, we will output each of the elements in our v1 vector to the console, separated by a space. When we run the code, notice that the elements abc, def, and ghi were output to the console. To remove the last element from the vector, we can use the popback function. Let's call popback on our v1 vector. Now when we run the code, notice that only two elements were output to the console, abc and def, since ghr was removed when we called the popback function on our vector. The clear function is used to remove all of the elements from a vector. Let's call the clear function on our v1 vector. Then we will output the size of v1 to the console. When we run the code, notice that 0 was output, meaning that the clear function successfully removed all of the elements from our v1 vector.